Okay, fans, I have been asked several times to explain the weight transfer sled, several times. This is one of the Bauer sleds from Iowa. It's an Iron Man sled, it's a purple one. They've got a green, orange, red, uh, I'm not sure what other colors they got. They have a really nice toter for this one. That's a 389 with no DEF, so kudos there for that. So we're back on to the weight transfer sled. So here's how it works. You've got a chain right there, big hook, big chain. Hooks to the back of the truck or tractor. All right, as the sled and the vehicle goes down the track, this weight transfer box right here moves down from underneath the cab, down the rails to the front of the sled. Okay, the weight transfer box itself has space for eight suitcase weights. This is a suitcase weight. They weigh 2,000 pounds a piece. Right there. Okay, now there's also space for right there on each side of the pan, and there's one space in the center for one right there so they can run 11 suitcase weights on the sled to make it as heavy as possible for some of the semi classes unlimited tractors on a really good track that sort of thing so this box is also geared differently so they can change the gears as to how fast it moves from underneath the cab to the front of the sled okay obviously that's a pan What's underneath that pan is what's called grouser bars. They are angle iron, spikes, different things that when the weight transfer box gets on top of this pan, the pan not only resists, but also the grouser bars dig into the dirt to stop the vehicle. And that's how it works. So pulling works is, you try to build up as much speed and as much momentum as fast as possible so that you're carrying the momentum when the weight transfer box gets to the front of the sled and makes the pan start digging into the ground. That's how it works. Now, I've been asked the question, if the weight transfer box was all the way to the front of the sled and the grouser bars were all the way down, could the any vehicles move the sled that way? I'm going to say no. Probably some of the big articulating tractors can make it move, loaded, maybe, I don't know. But I think with the box all the way to the front and the bars all the way down, it will move. But that is how a weight transfer sled works. And that's how pulling works. Anyway, the winner tows this sled with all that weight furthest distance. The sled itself, without, the box, without any weights in it, weighs about 40,000 pounds and they can put 22,000 pounds of weight in it. Most of the time they'll run, hardly ever see any weights on the pan itself, um, for outdoors especially, but you'll see anywhere from three to five, six, seven weights in the box itself. So there you go. Great transfer sled. If you have any more questions, message me anytime.